lab assistant. Welcome to the yogurt section of the dairy processing plant. It appears that our latest batch of yogurt might have been contaminated by some undesirable bacteria. All yogurt has bacteria in it since yogurt is made by adding specific bacteria to milk. These bacteria are beneficial to humans. Unfortunately, undesirable bacteria like salmonella or E. coli can also end up in yogurt. This is what plain good yogurt looks like. Notice the uniform texture and color. Now take a look at this yogurt. See how the whey and water are separating? This yogurt looks suspicious, but to tell if it is contaminated, we need to get a much closer look. Let's collect yogurt samples and in the gram staining process, we will use different chemicals. Bacteria that stain a pink or reddish color like this are called gram negative. Bacteria that are used to make yogurt from We are going to gram stain sample. All right, let's prepare our slides for gram staining. To prevent bacteria from contaminating our work, you're going to use a striker to light the Bunsen burner. The gas bring the striker to the burner to light it. We need to dilute the yogurt before we put, start by placing one milliliter of the diluent into a test. This is an inoculation loop. A small loop of water, start by sterilizing the inoculation loop in the flame of the Bunsen burner. Hold it directly in the flame until it glows red hot. After it has cooled down, use the loop to obtain a small sample of yogurt from the suspect. Place the yogurt sample into the previously measured diluent. Now, gently shake the test tube for 5 to 10 seconds to thoroughly mix the yogurt sample throughout the diluent. Use the inoculation loop to transfer a small amount of sample. Sterilize the inoculating loop again in the flame of the Bunsen burner. Hold it directly in the flame. Transfer a small amount of sample from the test tube to our prepared. Place two loops full from the sample onto the slide. Tilt the slide to spread the drop out slightly, about the size of a penny. Now we'll heat fix the slide. This prevents the place the slide in a clap. Hold the slide over the flame to dry it out. Now we begin the staining process. We use four chemicals to stain a The first is crystal violet. Using the dropper, squeeze out enough drops to cover your sample. Let that sit for 60 seconds. Now rinse it under slow running water. Now use the bottle of Graham's iodine. Squeeze several drops onto the sample, enough to cover it completely. Let that sit for 60 seconds. Now rinse it under slow running water. Now we are going to use the uh, use the alcohol dropper to cut. Let the alcohol sit. Now rinse it off under slow running water. You now have stained the gram positive. Use the dropper to cover the slide with sap.